Ladies and gentlemen, we move forward into the next match on the card. It is in the men's middleweight division, Latvia versus the United States of America. Let's introduce our athletes now. The first of these hails from and is representing Latvia. He is a multiple and reigning Latvian national champion and is also the reigning EAF European champion. Welcome making his debut here at East versus West, Tons Rosses. Ladies and gentlemen around the world, let me introduce to you to the brutal Tons Rosses. It's one of the rising stars of Latvian arm wrestling. This year just has been insanely successful. Winning European title, winning national title with both arms, pretty much destroying everyone in Latvia with the right arm, except a few heavyweights. He is the real deal. And today, it's a tough challenge. It is American Justin Bishop. We'll see if Tuoms is ready. And his opponent hails from and he's representing the United States of America. He is a former US national champion and a former UAL champion of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome the Bamba Bull, Justin Bisha! Ladies and gentlemen, USA, get on your feet. One of the most impressive light pullers that we have in the world is here on the East First West stage. Look at the hat, look at the shoulders, look at the terrible tattoos his brother probably did when they were in high school. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the pride of Alabama, the Bama Bull, set to go to war. And honestly, it's Coach Ray, I feel a certain way even being this close to you right I now. I feel a certain way being close to you. I don't think, I think it's a bad day for West again. I'm really sorry about this. I, you're already on a losing streak starting this event, but we'll see it right here. Well, one thing's for certain, you will not see an athlete that doesn't use every single technical advantage, even I mean, every part of the Bama Bulls game is involved from that elbow to the tip of those fingertips. He's about to try to do something to that boy's hand. There's no doubt about it. Let's make some noise here. I tell you, one thing about me, super impartial. Let's go, Bama Bull. The most impartial commentary right here from East versus West. I I think Tuom's gonna show you what's up with his hand. You can see he's using all the chalk. He, he used all the chalk. There's no more chalk left for anyone else. First you go, told it's me. not even gonna be a strap. There's a chance he don't move. Go! Go of the bull. Okay, there might be a strap. There Have might be you a strap. ever seen a cowboy strangle the bull during the rodeo? No, there is no way that's your guy. You told me he was gonna hold him out of the strap and Justin was gonna unseat fall under the table. I would give him that advice open. just to never let him slip, but I think Giannis was like, let's get the strap, right? Let's get the strap. I would say this is Giannis' advice, but right now they're applying the strap. Both of these guys, I think only guys on East versus West are arm wrestling who wear their hats, right? I have I never seen double hat in match ever. Not even one month ago, I'm sitting in the living room shoulders, in Birmingham, okay, Alabama. Just, just the whole Bishop family oh, yeah. is in the house. All of them. And I told them, I need you listen, to straight. I mean, keeps Giannis calm. said this, kid's calm. amazing. Giannis okay. said this. Giannis this is a big down. match for both of them. Don't move. Go! Stop, 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 stop. stop. No, it's false start. Oh, I didn't move. I didn't even move. You move before the start. You move before you, the start. You, you see what happened there, right? I will ease up <laughs> on my analogy there. You want to tighten it? They were talking see. about Giannis open, with open, this. Open. Giannis was yeah. saying put, put that. And I heard Tony Bishop say, yeah, yeah, well, Giannis yeah. felt it. 
Toms will feel it too. But shoulders. I felt a certain way from Set your shoulders. That start right there. Set your shoulder. There's a lot I need of pressure. Straight. I will straight. Okay. Just straight so shoulder first. Strap okay. With these two this center shoulders. here. Don't push the center. The center. 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 Like waste energy holding shoulders. on. So we will see if yeah, Justin's strategy works. Shoulder, Justin. Or Tuom's strategy will work. Because Tuom's very much needs his hand to arm us. He's okay. He can arm us in different ways, but he needs his hand, his fingers. And Justin, look at Justin's post. He's so high, so close. Center here. One thing's for sure. Tom's you want clearly round, a bigger what? man. Me? Yeah, yeah. Just a what am I doing? Longer version of the Bama bull. You can I'm see close. even with him Take squatting, me. manipulating Take under the table yeah, serious, from sir. elbow to hand. Take there's a so lot he's pulling me this way. He he I, could I, Justin I, Bishop I catch the ass, ever I know what be top road? I mean, the opponent for him is, I'm sure, just like Tom's. The key is, hey, let me just... Make sure okay, I close stop. the distance, Richard, get yeah. connected, get the arm in there I somehow, mean, whether yeah, it's a yeah, press you know, or exactly. the hook, make okay. sure that okay. our wrist okay. or his wrist is yeah. being yeah. touched yeah. by somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Here, okay. we're seeing two guys yeah. Put the elbow down. that tricep. My grip is the from the first start, be careful you have one Don't forget that. to make okay. a subtle adjustment. Don't move your shoulder. Yeah, let's see if we make it. Don't move your shoulder. Right here. They're putting. I told Justin first. The strap has been put on. We'll see in referee's grip who will have. This will be much slower start for both. Go! Tuoms comfortably, but Bama gets in a hook. Adunix, this is this, for my opinion, is the key to victory for Justin. Was there an elbow foul for Justin? Yeah, there was an elbow foul. If Justin can do this to Tuoms, he has a good chances of winning this match. In my opinion. I'm, I'm impartial, but that's the way. It's, I told you you can top roll this guy. I told you you can top roll this guy. But the hook. No, here's the deal, right? Two top rollers, and he thought for sure. You assured me that Toms could beat him in a hook if they were to get there. From what I saw, the only way the Bama Bull gets out of here is to stop the top roll with his top roll turn this thing inside however this is new territory for the young man from alabama three solid rounds knowing that there's restarts anywhere if that match is not a pin any elbow fouls any sort of restart another wrinkle into the endurance of justin bishop you can question his endurance as being pretty good when everyone's pulling outside once you're in a hook yeah. and you're not it's a different. hooker, it's there's different. a different level. That gas tank is emptying at a dramatic fashion. I wouldn't be surprised if Justin at some point yeah, here also yeah. still yeah. tries to top roll. Yeah. But the truth Same is, level. is you're Same right. Level. Tom's is susceptible Same. to Same. being hooked. His Same. top roll Same. looks Same. absolutely Same. nasty. Same. So let's Why you keep go, looking at me every time move? Show us no, how no, absolutely veteran that okay. you can be. You, you want to get some thunder, yeah? Yeah. Oh, we're going yeah. in. So yeah, yeah, yeah. this was going to incidental foul. One foul okay. on Don't Justin. Don't move the shoulders. Comes down. A restart number three in this round alone. Let's go. We saw top roll. We saw hook. Go. Let's see what we <laughs> And easy. Comes get it together and just hit side. Are you serious? And that was the good side of the straps for Justin Bishop, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. I didn't even know that really was a thing, it's a thing. but it seems it's a thing. to be a thing. And if you look at Justin Bishop match, that's the example, right? Hey, let's hear what you. That's not center. Any problems I'm that we you, thought Justin yeah, would have started over here? I can see that. Yeah. Tell me how you see. Tell me how you see here and here. Come on, dog. Justin not happy with the center position, but the truth is the fear. The, what I heard from Artem Terelenko, what I heard from what I heard you know, from Ingen. For 20 years, you still cannot say his last name, right? That is his name. I don't know what he told you because he is a Russian. You know how they like to give a little story here and there. But the truth was, the worry was that Tom's was actually too big for Justin Bishop and that Justin Bishop should stay down there with the Mindaugas of the world. 
and or just wait for Ingen to make that 171 class a class. But the truth is that what is this class at 187? Maybe 10 pounds too much to travel 10 hours all the way to Istanbul. Yeah, Tuoms had to cut down weight for this one while Justin was going up. Uh, Tuoms also competed in 85 kilo class in European Championship, but he's walking around like 88 and he said he he doesn't want to cut to 85 anymore, but this is his weight class. He's a big guy and he can, like he doesn't have to do like a crazy weight cut, right? Like six yeah. pounds isn't that much to cut for a match. Straight to the strap, there's no waste of the time. I think for Tuoms, the thing we always are worried about is inexperience. Like he's still young, he's very powerful. You can see that hand is strong, back pressure is strong. Is yeah. But mm -hmm. smart arm wrestlers can put him in positions where he's not used to, where he kind of panics. And if you look at that first round where they got stuck in the hook, Tuoms was panicking, he was just hitting to the side. There was no, like if you see Giannis in the same position, he will slowly work his way out of it, put you in a worse position somehow, right? Good. Giannis gave him advice that all he needs to do is find a connection on Justin's Maybe fingers. Shoulders, if you do this, you cup hard, you hit to the side. That's what I heard in Latvian and I'm just trying to Definitely a good strap from this view. For the American, for me, a little more connected there. I think he understands that. He gets his hand taken. This is over. He's going to need a little space. Stop this thing and then get aggressive. Straight your shoulder. Don't, don't go back with the shoulder. Don't go back with the shoulder. Listen to me. I'm not moving it. It's fine. It's fine. We'll just let them go. Are we center? I don't feel like we center. Three stumps. Don't move. Go! Uh, come on. Yeah. I think the middle of his forearm hit the pad, right? No doubt. And right. you can still see, yeah. too. I, I, I have a feeling this is how it ends. Yeah. Tom's got this shit together, and this is how it ends. And let's just be honest. Tom's has hit the exactly the same way four straight times, three of them being absolutely devastating. Not quite finishing on that second start in round one, but no doubt. Listen. Let this be a super lesson here. We saw the strong young lady from Waco come in unsuccessfully technically. Then we come with one of our most technical gentlemen here, and we see there's a slight size problem. Do not come over here unless you spend a lot of time in the gym, but also the in table. the sauna. Well, on the table, that's what he meant. Travis meant to say, on the table, practicing your technique, getting stronger. Also, I didn't say this before, but Tuoms is one of the guys that qualified from the East to be on this card. So he's also East versus West tournament winner. He destroyed everyone in his class with both arms, qualified for this match. And right now, is showing he deserves to be this. Tough opponent, Justin Bishop, dominating the match. And think about his friends and family. They're about to get this information that I, not only did I come to the qualifier able to get an invitation to the greatest event on earth and then just to put the icing on the cake, down goes the Bama Bull who has plenty of YouTube clips for your friends and family to scout through to let you see how great of a puller oh, he's that your loved one just took care of. And if the Bama Bull's not careful, having the good strap is good here, but a 3-0 absolute shellacking is what we have the chance to look out here. So come on here. Yeah. We need the veteran to somehow change the connection, stop that hit, and listen, a lot easier said than done. I think, I think Justin needs to stick and try, try his best to cup in, to get on the inside of Tom's arm. If he can stop him with his top roll, like you said, and then cup in, that's his chance on taking this match. Other way, at this point, like I said, Tom's has insane fingers. Like, you need to be, I would say, 110 kilo guy to top roll him. That's how strong his hand is. But the hook is still his kryptonite. But today he's showing great composure. Set your shoulders, guys. We'll see it right now. A little different setup from Justin. Doesn't look great from the top. 
However, you do see a lot of that hand and wrist inside the strap. The match needs to be stopped. I think a lot of people are just saying, why doesn't Justin just hook him? If you've been top rolling people your whole life, the hook's not an option. Brutal. Thanks, man. Ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately for me, Coach Ray was dead on and correct. I did have an argument for the Latvian team thinking that their guy was too good when Justin had had so much success with Giannis. However, the problem is, is Giannis knows how strong the Bama Bull is and was still completely confident. That was the replay we were looking for Justin Bishop, a little stronger in the hook, but the truth is that's not the move of the Bama Bull. He's the guy that takes the hand, does the whacking, and today he ran in to the young man from Latvia who clearly a huge 187 pound human being and is going to be a tough out. And just imagine with that hand and wrist and the development of any sort of inside bicep power, we may be looking at a future stud in the 187 pound class. What a man, what a man. Call him brutal, because there's only brutality on table. How do you feel? First big international win. Of course, I feel uh, great, <laughs> you know. Was it as easy as you wanted to be? Actually, no. From the start, it was kind of uh, I don't know, nervous or something. So, but I figured out how to finish this fight. We, we know you have a really strong hand and we knew that it will be very hard for him to top roll you. Were you surprised he was able to get in a hook with you? I guess I just make a mistake. That's why he get in the hook. So that's all, basically. So, he made a mistake, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. As everyone from Latvia, I just want to say we're very proud of you. And what's next? What do you want next? What are you thinking? Yeah, well, I don't care. Give me just custody, man. Give me anyone. I don't care. Tom Swazitz.